Hey, how are you doing? I am Gio. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully, welcome back because we are on episode. Seven. Seven of season three of Mr. Between. This is the penultimate episode of the entire thing. This is the second last episode of the entire show. And yeah, I'm struggling to see how it ends. I'm struggling to see how they tie up in this in the next episode. So last episode, Ray is on a, a drug run for yes, his new boss or his new sometime employer. He's on a drug run. There's a girl with him who is, I suppose, she's there to mock a look. You know, she's like a distraction. She's like a decoy. She's, um, she's there to make it look like a couple driving across country rather than just a guy who looks like Ray driving across country, right? which could draw attention. But she is there to, to I think that's what she's there for, right? Um, and Ray has sort of got a thing for her. They've got a thing for each other. She's pretty forward. Ray's not shy. I think they were about to get on at the end of the last episode. And I'm sad. That was pretty much the episode, right? It was Ray and her getting to know each other, right? I, I, like a buddy, sort of a, a buddy movie sort of thing. And it, the episode started with um, Freddie's girlfriend got to see Ray because Freddie had been beaten up. Which is kind of ironic. It kind of sad that, you know, Freddy, who arranges to have people beaten up and murdered and everything else, gets slaughtered about a bit and his girlfriend runs to Ray because that's not fair, right? Even though he does it to everyone else, you can't do it to him, right? I think you should shut the fuck up and take what's coming at him, you know? But whoever it is, he kind of deserves it. Because I don't trust him. I think he's a rat. Freddy, I think he's, um, he's proven himself to be. Not as good a friend to Ray as Ray has been to him recently, right? That's my that's that's, that's the way I'm seeing it. So I was a brute at right. We didn't see nobody else, Dad, no Brit, no um, just Ray and the girl doing a cross country drive. And as far as I know, they're selling it unless that jumps out of something else. But yeah, I, I suppose that. So without further ado. Let's just jump in. <laughs> ah, that's funny. That's good. Well done, you. Would you like me to order you some tubes? No. I want yours. I'm kind of on a diet. Oh, that's a cool camera. No. Hey, Ray. Ray. Yeah. Oh, it's a Polaroid. I like you. Oh. Oh. I think you've got a good heart. <sighs> like deep, 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 deep down. Maybe. So who'd you vote for? I don't vote anymore. Hmm. They find you that. Yeah, but there's ways around that. So you get fined if you don't vote in Australia. They force you to vote. It's not really democracy, is it? If you've got a vote between two candidates in in you know, you don't like either of them. Is who do you want to get fucked by? Do you want to get fucked in the ass by these guys over here? Or do you want to get fucked in the ass by those guys over there? Such is life, isn't it? Oh, shit. Holy fuck. Was that a kangaroo? Came out of fucking nowhere. Oh, she didn't do this, she? Oh, no. Oh, no. Every time we meet somebody, someone happens. Sir. Well, nearly. Sir. Ever at all. But... Man, what a shitty bad luck you can't before the cops. You can't even before the cops because you're on a fucking drug run. We've had a crash. How bad's the damage? 
Clear. Pretty fucking bad, mate. Pretty bad. Man, what a place to die. Like, I wonder if there's a lot of people who go along that road. I wonder if it is one of those places you could be for days and nobody sees you. You okay? Uh, yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Do you need a lift? Uh, no, I've got, uh, got the tow truck coming, so... Yeah, mate, I've got a couple of kilos of cocaine in the boot, so, you know. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, mate, I can yeah. do that. Come on. Mate, you need... You get that one. Yeah, so it's okay, I'm to leave. Jeez. Oh, God. Oh, God. Rich! Grab the first aid kit. Yeah, fuck. I just had a car crash, okay? Oh, my God. Uh -oh. You gotta be alright. Yeah, love, we call an ambulance. It's on the way, okay? Just... Hey, mate. Oh, oh. Is everyone alright? Oh, no, oh, really. oh, no. no. Oh, no. Throw it down. Throw Put Zoe in my car. Shit, yeah. two old people just try to do uh, a good thing, just try to help somebody in need in the fucking... It's alright, it's okay, okay? Gonna... Did she, is she in pain or is she crying because um, the old people got shot? Did she not know what she was involved in? Okay, I'll see you soon, y'all. I'll see you soon, okay? Let's get out of here. Did she not know what she was involved with? Okay, mate, you can't leave fucking bodies in the road, mate. You just can't. Fucking Drongo. Drongo. Right. I gotta get this thing off the road. Oh, fuck that. Let's just go. We can't leave it here with bodies in it, you fuckwit. What'd you call me? You called you a fuckwit? If we leave it here... We're gonna have the cops all over us. I gotta get it upstream, right? I gotta get rid of the bodies, and you gotta get Zoe to the hospital. I can't take Zoe to a fucking hospital. You can, right? You dump put emergency, and then you fuck off. When I'm done here, I'll meet you at the RV point. Mate, mate, it makes sense, eh? Like, listen to Ray. Come on, running. He was running like a walking pace. Really. He was running like at a fast walk speed. Yeah, one minute you're discussing politics with a woman you've just... Next thing you know, you're burning two bodies. Such is life, huh? Well, such is his life. It's not my life. It's his life. And he's just walking through the desert on his own at night. Is that safe or not? Doesn't it seem safe? Like, how the fuck does he know where he's going? Yeah, Ray, try to, um, it's, it's time to find something else to do, right, it really is, time to find a new line of work, because this guy's a ruthless prick. He's actually walked back, he's walked all the way back. Fucking hell, Ray, that's, um, I guess that's our army training, right? That's our military training, because I'd be dead, I would be, they'd find my bones lost somewhere. What is that? It's just that one, mate. Uh, 12 bucks, thanks. Who's that? Steel roller? How's your day been? Yeah, pretty good. terrible, mate. Pretty terrible. Yeah? 
Absolutely shocking. Yeah, I can't complain. Yeah. No. Thanks, man. Oh, for stealing a car. There's no way it's that easy in the 2000s. 2020s. Or 2010s. Not sure it's that easy. in the private school, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. No, I know. I know. I can, yeah. So it's our caution what? Listen, i got to go. I'll see you back in Sydney, yeah? Caution clothes. As, uh... <sighs> so I didn't make it. Huh? What? Why not? Me? I don't know. Because he oh, didn't want it. Because she got. <laughs> Mate. She's taking it to the hospital. Well, why would I? She was dead before I got anywhere near one. So, what'd you do with her? Does it matter? Yeah. I'm well, sorry things turned out the way they did, you know. It was a shitty situation. It was, but. Mate. Yeah. She didn't have to die. Because you panicked. I saved our asses. No, you didn't. Eh? Well, maybe you did, actually. I could handle it. Maybe you did. <laughs> oh, I don't think so, pal. I don't think so. I'm not your pal, dickface. You got a car for me? Take the Merc. The CM, that guy standing here, was there because he was expecting Ray to kick off. But Ray's not that stupid, is he? Your case? They're in it. Yeah, Ray's not that dumb. He's not going to do it here. Where it's like we. Things are in place. You know what I mean? Our guys are waiting for Ray to make a move so he could. Get his men to shoot Ray down. But Ray is not that dumb. There's a time and a place for everything. Police are where? Mm. Very symbolic crossroads. Crossroads in your life. Which way do you go? Right? You continue on the path or do you turn? Very symbolic. Very symbolic. And that's kind of what SM, S season has been leading up to. Right? That choice. That choice at the crossroads of life. So what ending, man? What a fucking ending. I, it's, um, it seems like art has been what we've been leading up to the whole, the whole season. Right? Ray has come to a physical crossroads on top of the crossroads in his life, right? So which way does he go? Does he continue on he's going on? Again, it, it, it seems like he feels like this is the moment you choose, right? There maybe won't be a choice later on. It has to be now. It has to be this moment. Do I go all in and continue on road or do I step? I think he's got a step. I think he's got a. I think a last episode's got to be um, raised out, right? It has to be. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, it doesn't end badly for him. But yeah, I was um, I was good in a way. Can I like a moment in between? The sort of realism of it, because if I was some like, I said that with a prison episode. If this had been some Hollywood thing, Ray would have got revenge on the gang boss that killed his girlfriend. But it is not stupid, right? It was nay. He was nay. He was not walking out of that place after doing that. And he knew that. Right? So he's not stupid. He, you bide your time and, you know, take your shots when you can and know when to walk away. And he walked away from that situation. And I think he's got to walk away from the life, right? People getting killed. People killing people recklessly 
life meaning nothing to some people. The people he's involved in his life means very little to. So, uh, in, in, like I said, Brit getting older, I think that time a good time for him to walk away. But I was, it's the penultimate episode. Next episode is the last episode. And I can't wait. I'm going to get us done. I think now. Um, but this will be on Patreon first, as everything is for early access. If you're not kind of thing, it's like a, a pound a month. Um, if not, just wait for YouTube. Won't be long. Um, thank you for watching and thank you for comments. Thank you for support. Push subscribe, push like, all that stuff, and I'll catch you for the last one.